Pepsi has 41 grams of sugar. Do Dr. Pepper has 38 grams of sugar. We put cold water in our first fish tank. We then tested our pops. So if they sank, that meant that it has lots of sugar, and if it floated, that meant that it had not as much sugar. Hello, I am Sebastian Valenzuela, and I'm in grade seven, and I go to Cape School. And here, we are at the science fair for Cape School, and I'm gonna be asking some students about their science fair projects. How long have you been doing science fair at Cape School? I've been doing science fair for two years. And I've done it three times. Okay, now what was your science fair about this year? Mine was about multitasking and distractions and how it affects um, people's assignments. Very interesting. And mine was to see if the full moon affects human behavior. How long have you been doing your science fair at Cape School? This is my first year doing my science fair project in Cape. Really? So tell me, what is your science fair about? My science fair project is about making crowns and what dyes and pigments can make a better one. Really? That is interesting. So tell me, how do you test all your stuff? I tested my stuff by taking my graph and I colored them in and I made my crayons by melting my wax, putting my wax and dyes into a beaker, mixing it together, pouring it in my molds, and freezing my crayons and then they were done. That sounds very fun and cool. So tell me, what is the most stressful part about science fair? I think it was uh, presenting my science fair to the judges. So, they don't look like crayons. I, they don't look like crayons because I didn't have an actual crayon mold. I had to use the chocolate molds. So tell me, um, where did you get the idea to make these? I got the idea. I was on a website on how to make markers, and I decided why not to change it to make crayons. So Jackson, how long have you been doing science here at Cape School? Uh, only two years. This is my second one. Really? So what is your project about? I'm seeing if video game players have faster reaction than non-time players. Really? So tell me, how did you, what did you do to test this um, thing? Yours. Oh, well, I went on this website right here and see if, if their time would go once the stoplight would hit green and they'd have to hit the button. Really? So tell me, do video game players have faster reflexes? No. Do they have slower reflexes? Yes. Is it a big difference? Sort of. Very interesting. So tell me, where did you get the inspiration to do the science fair? Well, Your project. On on science fair, I looked through these projects and I had I seen this thing that said video games, so I thought I had to do a video games, and so I decided to do it. And this is my principal. And so, how, why does the school do science fair? Science fair is a time where students can investigate scientific process. They can do experiments, they can adapt experiments, they can figure things out scientifically, they can look for evidence and observations, and it's a time to practice things like mathematics skills and public speaking. It gets students involved in a whole learning process. How long have you been doing science fair? Cape started as a charter school in 1995 and every year we have done science fair. Now that we take part in Heritage Fair, we cycle every year. So this is a science fair year, next year will be Heritage Fair and then we do science fair again. Really? That is very interesting. What is Heritage Fair? Heritage Fair is a time when we do social studies research projects. So it's a little bit different because it's research skills, still public speaking, but there isn't the same investigative process or measurement or things that are involved with science. We would like to thank the community members for coming to judge our science fair. We would also like to thank the organization for donating items for our projects. And thank you for visiting Cape School.